this weekend. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't drive. So there you go. There you um, go. So, right. So, I mean, so listen, you've said that like, you can't see them doing the legacy show without Ramona. You know that they cannot do a legacy show without Countess Luann. So you do realize <laughs> like this show is not happening without you, Luann. Well, I, I can't imagine that it would, but you never know with the Housewives franchise. <laughs> but I know that, um, that we will have news soon. So I'm excited for the fans to finally get some news as to what's happening with Roni. Do you know, because there is this rumor out there that they're going to try to do the first show, the the reboot 2.0 first before they do the legacy. Do you know anything about that? I, I don't know what, you know, I don't know who's on first and who's on second. <laughs> Has, have people, because listen, they're, 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 they're casting this 2.0, this other show. Have people come to you, you know, that you've known throughout the years and said like, Luann, give me some advice. I really want to be a part of this. Well, yeah, I mean, look, when Jill got cast on the Ultimate Girls Trip, she called me in, you know, she asked me the advice. And I always say the same thing to returning cast or new cast that, you know, you just have to be yourself because the camera doesn't lie. And um, and that's the best advice I could really give to anyone. You know, the minute you try to be something you're not, it usually backfires. It does usually backfire. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, there's all these names like you and Dorinda and Sonia and Ramona, like the usuals. But if we went to some of the lesser knowns, people that didn't have as much time, like the Avivas, the Kristen Tatemans, we'll throw in Jules Weinstein and Cindy Barshop. <laughs> some of these smaller, you know, one season, two, three season wonders, like who out of the smaller group of Ronies do you think would be great for this show that didn't have as much time? You know, I think the people would be great to come back, you know, um, I think that, uh, you know, she's married, she has a family, she has kids. I mean, I think that would be add a nice dynamic. She knows all of us, including Harry Dubin. Uh, so, so I think it would be great to have Aviva back. And, you know, Kristen Teichman also, um, who's beautiful. And I think that that would be great. Of course, you know, Jill, who's an OG, um, Dorinda has to come back. And, uh, and you know, maybe a little uh, Kelly Ben Simone or, Tinsley Mortimer. I think those are all good. Yeah. Well, what if, I mean, there's two names you didn't really mention. Like, what if they told you, Luann, here's the cast, and we have a Heather Thompson, a Carol Raswell? Well, I wouldn't be thrilled. I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> Speaking of Harry Dubin, don't you think he's got to make an appearance? I mean, he's such a part of the legacy of Roni. Well, I don't think we need Harry Dubin at all for legacy. <laughs> We've had enough of Harry. We need to find a new Harry. We need to, we kind of do need to find a new Harry, right? Totally. What about like, what have, how have you changed throughout all these years, you know, from the beginning? Like, I still go back to some of the beginning scenes, like, you know, when you're telling Bethany, like, you know, always introduce me as the countess to the driver. And no, I, mean, I said Mrs. Delaseps. Mrs. Delaseps, sorry. Mrs. Right. Delaseps. You know, how have you changed? Because you seem like, listen, like you've been yourself. We've gotten to know you, like, even in your cabaret, like, that is part of what people see. You own. I don't even know if I want to call them mistakes because there's no mistakes in life. You own right. your shit, so to speak. Yeah, I, I do. And I, you know, I, I talk about it. Um, again, you have to have a great sense of humor. You know, people love the Countess title and love using it, I think, more than I do. You know, obviously, it's a part of who I am. It will always be a part of who I am, you know? Um, it's like, think of it as my hashtag, you know? Um, so I was married 17 years. I deserve to use that title if I want to. And uh, and the Count is very happy if I do. I've known you forever and I will not refer to you as anything but the Countess. It's just, <laughs> sorry, that's who you are. And that's darling, how- Darling, thank you. I mean, darling, that is how it works. Well, <laughs> speaking of knowing you for all these years and you know, the world has known you for over a decade. I thought I knew everything about you, but then I see this thing on your social media and you're, you're on the cover of Playgirl, like- Yeah. Oh. Back in the 90s, I got back in the 90s, I was modeling in New York and I got the opportunity to be on the cover of Playgirl. Now I thought, do I really want to be on the cover of Playgirl? But then I saw the hunky man. And I was like, oh, well, why not? I'm not inside because, of course, that magazine is for the boys, <laughs> if you know what I mean, and uh, for the girls. And um, and so, you know, I thought that's cool. I mean, 
I could say I was on the cover of Playgirl magazine. I, I you know, back in the day, I, I, it was really, you know, kind of fashion. It, it was in, it was like a thing. And, um, and let's, you know, let's hope that there is a resurge, you know, of the, of the magazine, because I think it's cool. I mean, why not have a magazine for us ladies, right? And for, us, and for us boys. Listen, exactly. And for us boys, listen, you might have spiked sales in a few issues of Playboy <laughs> because of this post, Luann. Right? Well, let's see. Let's see if they hit me up for another cover 30 years later. <laughs> Would you do it? I mean, 30 years later. Uh, 40 years later. I can't even believe it. No, not 30. What am I saying? Yeah, 30 years later. Is it? Uh, <laughs> I'm like... I'm really trying to age myself there. I'm just trying to get a compliment. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't imagine, but um, but what fun, right? I thought I'm going to repost this. I haven't, you know, I haven't thought about it in a while. And then, you know, how this happened is I did that podcast of the guys, and and it's a Playboy kind of uh, Playgirl podcast thing. So I did that, and that's what sparked the whole idea of reposting. I love it. <laughs> Were you happy with everything inside the magazine too? Like you said, it is a magazine for us ladies you know or gentlemen. I don't, think I, I don't think I've ever seen the inside of the magazine, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Or maybe right. I did. Wait, maybe I did when it first came out and I'm forgetting because, you know, we're talking about the 1990s. So, um, well, I love the cover. It's like, what would it say? Like how to get an orgasm, you know? Uh, the, talking the, about the, Mel Gibson. Yeah, the beefy men of Texas, you know, so... Um, and I thought I looked pretty hot on it. I was like, wait a second, let me do another take. Is this Luann? I'm like, what's, yeah. what's going on here? Yeah. Well, you gave Jill some advice, you know, for Girls Trip 2. Are you excited? Are you going to be watching Girls Trip 2? Your friend Dorinda's on there. Of course I'm going to be watching. I can't wait to see it. I, you know, I, we know, you know how much I love Bluestone Manor in the fish room. <laughs> You love Bluestone Manor in the fish room. We all love Bluestone Manor. I mean, somebody who apparently doesn't love Bluestone Manor is Vicki Gumvelson. I mean, she said, you know, it was a, Dorinda lives in the middle of nowhere and it's an old house. Dorinda has clapped back at her in a pretty major way. I mean, is Vicki in over her head here? I mean, this is Dorinda she's messing with. Yeah, right. I, you know, I can't imagine why Vicki thought of the house that way because it's a beautiful house it's in the Berkshires one of the prime locations of having a country home and Dorinda you know worked really hard to uh, renovate it and make it beautiful it may not be her taste but at the same time it's a beautiful house and nobody can say it's not and she opened her house to Vicky and all these other women right the ex-wives basically you know and so it's again I think it's gonna be a totally different vibe than the Turks and Caicos how can it not be how can it not be? And I mean, I really do think, I mean, listen, I, I, I wouldn't mess with Dorinda. That's just me. <laughs> You're like, here you. We do it a little different in New York, don't we? <laughs> what are your plans after, you know, after these amazing 